What's up, peeps? Nick Battle, a.k.a. Nino's Corner, man. First off, if you like this uh, content that is coming your way, hit that subscribe button. It means a ton. Helps me grow the channel a lot. And also, folks, if you're listening to this on the podcast platform, whether it's Spotify, whether it's Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Stitcher, Breaker, the whole nine, like, comment, subscribe. Helps me grow the channel a lot. Five-star comments mean a lot, folks. Five-star comments mean a lot. But, folks, today we're going to do a uh, high school spotlight, you know, my Nino's Corner uh Recruits Corner section of the podcast. I got a wide receiver here, folks, from Waterford, Michigan. His name is Diego Roca. Now, folks, you, yeah, everybody understands that I primarily deal with Texas athletes, you know, a, you know, athletes here in the southeast. But I got this uh, this film here, um, you know, in my DMs here just over the past week, man. And it was like really good to see here. You know, so Roca is a six one hundred and seventy five pound wide receiver. And we'll just dig into his tape here in just a minute, folks. But first off, let's get into those sponsors. Uh, folks, first sponsor is brought to you by BetUS.com. Go to BetUS.com, get 125% sign up bonus using the code Nino's Corner at BetUS.com. Again, folks, that's free money. 125% sign up bonus using the code Nino's Corner at BetUS.com. Second sponsor, folks, is going to be Manscaped. Go to manscaped.com, folks. Use the promo code Nino's Corner. Get your 20% off and free worldwide shipping, folks. Again, folks, that's 20% off and free worldwide shipping using the code Nino's Corner at manscaped.com. But, folks, let's go ahead and get into the uh, Recruits Corner portion of, of the Nino's Corner podcast, folks. You know, so here we go, folks. We got Mr. Diego Roca. He's a class of 2024 wide receiver, 6'1", 175 pounds. Like I say, everybody understands I primarily do Texas content, but I got this in my DMs here lately, man, and I really like the film here. Um, kid almost had 1,000 yards this, this year, and he's just a junior here, so just more things to come. And it gives me an opportunity to dig into some of the high school, you know, athletes that are outside of the Southeast, which is great. Um, so, yeah, folks, let's get into the content. Let's get into the film and let's see what we got here. All right, here we go. Diego Roca, class of 2024. Like I said, six foot, six foot, 180 pounds, 49 receptions, 860 yards, played offense and defense. You look at him here, there he is on the boundary side, folks. He's coming long strides because he is a tall guy, good hands there. Caught the ball with his hands, not a basket catch. This is exactly what you want, folks. I can't stress that enough when it comes to a wide receiver. No basket catches, use your hands. And he did that. Here on the field side, folks. You see him handling business, long strides, gets open, does his thing, and tracks the ball, high points the ball as well. Awesome play. Awesome play. Let's check out another one. Let's see another. He's there in the slot, a little motion, does his thing. Wide open, long strides, does his thing, catches the ball, and let's see if he gets caught or not. He's using that, that long stride, the strength to break the tackle. Touchdown, folks. Touchdown. Here he is in the slot again here in the field side. Does oh man, there he goes. Can oh nice nice break tackle there. Long stride does this thing. I really like this dude man. Six foot six foot one hundred seventy five hundred eighty pounds. You see him there in the slot here again. Just finds the open spots. I mean he just finds the open spots. Knows what he's supposed to do. Runs it in for a touchdown man. That's easy money. That's what we call easy money, folks. Easy, easy money. Let's see him here. He's on the boundary side right now. Let's see what he's going to do on this boundary side. Caught the ball. Okay, easy. Easy catch. See back here on the boundary side again. Use those long strides. Uh, got him. Nice strength. There you go. Let's make sure. Let's see some more plays here. Go across. Wide open, bam, use the hands, use that strength. I almost broke the tackle there. I almost broke the tackle. There he comes, finds a soft spot, finds a soft spot. Quarterback's about to get that, finds a soft spot. Good catch, good catch right there in the sideline. Playing the sandlot ball, sometimes you got to help your quarterback. When your quarterback scrambles out, you got to help him out, make sure that he has the necessary folks to come and help him out right there again. Perfect. In the right spot. Long strides. Stops. Good block. Good block. Perfect. Hey, the sign of a good player is what do you do uh, when you do not have the ball? 
that that shows you how much you love your team and how much you love your teammates. So a wide receiver out there willing just to throw blocks is awesome. Here he goes again here in the slide as well. There you go. Get it. Let's see what he does here. Make it happen. There you go. A little sandlot ball. There you go. Help your quarterback out. Help your quarterback out. And that's perfect. That's perfect. It's a lot of subtle things, man, that makes players who they are. You know, anybody can run the route, but it's what you do when things break down, right? It's how comfortable are you when things get uncomfortable. And that's what I like about seeing some of his film is he's very comfortable being uncomfortable, being in the scramble drill, making sure that your quarterback has what they need. Let's see him do his thing here. There you go. Good block again here in the slot. Find the soft spot. Oh, got him. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Right there. Uh, let's see again. A little bubble screen there. Do it does its thing. All right. See him here in the boundary side. Let's see what he does in the boundary. See what he does in the boundary. Realize what you got. Nice catch, man. Good catch radius, man. I would love to just see, you know, what's his wingspan because he has a very good catch radius just to be six foot. Plays more like he's, uh, you know, six two or so. Very, very good, uh, you know, wingspan. Here he goes. Kind of deceptively fast. Good catch again. Comes out of his brakes really fast. Um, he has a long stride. Here he goes, another screen. There he goes again. Run up the – man, nice catch. I really like the film. I like the film. Does what he needs to do. You can tell in a all right, all right, all right, all right. good job. Good job. You know, in a more mature offense, this is a guy who you can see his talent will be truly unleashed, folks. When you see him in a true, just a just a more mature. I, I would love to see him play in an offense here in Texas. Good catch. Just for the simple fact that it's, it's a little more complicated. Um, so He'll get schemed open really well in some of these wide open offenses. Use that body. There you go. Good catch with your hands. There you go. Just that subtle push off. Those are like those veteran moves too. Michael Irving used to do it all the time. Great veteran moves to where just to get a little bit of separation, which is what you want. Right there in the slide again here in the field side. Let's see what he does. All right. Good catch. Good catch. He just goes and gets the ball, man. Everything's not pretty, which it's not supposed to be. You want your wide receiver to – there you go, perfect catch. Good catch. Shake him, shake him. There you go. You want your wide receiver to, to be able to, to get the ball when things aren't perfect. Um, you see a lot of wide receivers won't attempt to go get the ball if the ball's not perfect. And, but, you know, things aren't always perfect, folks, especially at the, at the college level, especially at the pro level. You're going to have to improvise. Because just as good as you are, the other team has great players as well. So good play. Let's check out a couple more plays here. And we see what we got here. There he is in the boundary side again. Let's see what he does. Uh, gets a little bit of separation. Use those hands. Uses the strength. Almost. Almost touchdown. See here it is again. Let's take a look. There he is. Find the soft spot. Good catch. Bam. There you go. Good catch, man. Again, folks, this is uh, Mr. Diego Roca uh, from Waterford, Michigan. And like you said, you guys know I love my Texas football, but I love to start branching out now. This is going to be one of the first part of the series where I do start to branch out and start to um, do, uh, you know, start to highlight athletes that are not just in the Southeast. So, this is perfect here to get somebody like this to actually start that part of the series out. But we see him here, folks. Let's look at him at the field side. Again, um, gets the separation there. Gets the separation. Catches the ball with his hands. Perfect. Uses the moves. Almost to get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> I like that he goes up and grabs the ball. Doesn't wait for the ball to come down. High points the ball. Is able to catch the ball with his hands. Does his thing. Here he is. Here he is again. Bam. Good. Good play. Good play. Got him, coach. Got him, coach. Awesome. 
All right, so looking here, uh, field side slot. Let's see what he does here. Just chunk it, chunk it, chunk it. Go up to ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Another one here. Let's see what he does. Is he playing quarterback in this play? I think he's playing quarterback. Yeah, because he plays quarterback, or is that him? No, no, that was my, that was my wide receiver. Man, he high points the ball really well. I mean, really well. Got him in traffic. In traffic. Let's see another play here. What's he gonna do? I got I missed that one. All right, let's see. Here he is again. Let's check the field side. See what he does here. Here he is. Let's see if he high points. I know he's going to high point it. Ooh. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. High point the ball, man. Go get the ball, man. Use some hands, man. Don't wait for the ball to come down to you. High point the ball. Do you, When you high point the ball, when you use your hands to get the ball, that shows a, a wide receiver who's confident, right? Who's confident in his abilities. Doesn't need the ball to be perfect. Doesn't need the ball to be on the right spot. Sometimes you just got to go make a play, man. You got to go make a play. And that's what we saw pretty much this whole tape. Um, look, Diego Roca, wide receiver, uh, six foot, six foot one, 175 to, you know, like 180 pounds, class of 2024. Um, I got to get in contact with him and his people just to see what scholarship offers that he does has. Not a lot of information there on on, on three arrivals or, you know, the, the 247 site, but um, definitely going to get in contact with him. Uh, see exactly where this guy is, man. Good to highlight folks that aren't on the radar yet. And that's what we kind of started with this, folks. We started doing this with folks like Lonnie Adkisson down in Texas, you know, so um, Jaden Jackson out of Alabama. You know, we started doing this for a lot of people who didn't have stars yet. You know, folks that uh, didn't get that recognition. And maybe this is one of the first ones uh, from the Midwest, that the Nino's Corner podcast is doing here for the recruits corner section. And that is going to be Diego Roca. Let's see if he gets stars here in the upcoming year. Things I liked about his tape, folks, he goes up and gets the ball, uses his hands, doesn't let a ball that is not the best place ball discourage him from going and getting that ball, man. Wide receivers use their hand, not their body to catch the ball. He did that all up and down this tape. But folks, on that note, man, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to end this podcast like I end all of them, folks. I'm going to tell you guys to do you. You know, don't be afraid to fail. I'll grow your environment. Understand your brilliance. Nino's Corner. I'm out. And since I'm a long corner, you guys, when I do, I hook them all day long, baby. Hook them. Bye.